We're live. Hey confectioners, what's up? I'm Mark and this is Epic Confections. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. This week I wanted to do something a little more fun. I wanted to go live and I wanted to make for you three dollar store cakes. So this video is perfect for anybody who is on a budget who is a little cheap like myself and any kind of last minute cakes that come up in your life and you got to make something right away head to the dollar store and grab some of these fabulous items that I've purchased I got some Betty Crocker whipped icing I have some s'mores pop tarts some cookies some candies some vanilla pudding which would make an incredible kind of filling for a cake so I do have a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to make three separate cakes and show you how to decorate them with dollar store items. So let's... Sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> James just had to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, I sneeze. So let's get started. To start, I am... I just baked off two six-inch round chocolate cakes. Just going to level them out. I know you all are working right now, so nobody's asking me questions. I saw Eric... Erica on there. Erica? Yeah. Hi, Erica. So I leveled out my bottom one, and then I leveled out my second half, and I cut it in half. So I have three pieces of cake. Going to take my Betty Crocker chocolate whipped icing. What's cats doing? putting a little, little bit on the bottom layer and a little bit on the middle layer. I actually really love this icing. It tastes incredible. All right. You could use scissors. I do actually have scissors. Yes. So this first cake is actually going to be a s'mores cake. So I'm filling the middle with some marshmallows that I purchased at the dollar store. Both layers. Yes. You can put as much or as little as you wish. Now I know I do have a torch, okay? You might not have a torch at home. If you don't, you don't have to do this step. It's stuck. There we go. Yeah. She doesn't want to stay on fire. Just gonna torch up those marshmallows a little bit. Yes, nothing better than a roasted marshmallow. Yes. Oh my god, I keep falling down. And that's it. Horrible camera work. And I'm just gonna stack these guys up. Put it on my cake board. So this is the part I'm concerned about. Frosting this guy. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of frosting on my spatula. I'm just gonna start at the top and get it as smooth as I can. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough. <laughs> and now starting at the bottom of my cake just smoothing it out with my spatula as best as I can. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. It was Canada Day here in Canada, obviously. Is the cake level no? Is the cake level? It's probably my camera work. Um, 
Yeah, the cake is level. Debbie Cox wants to know how you celebrated Canada today. Oh, hi, Debbie. <sighs> um, I actually took the weekend off of oh, work. And just had a barbecue and a bonfire um, over at my sister's house. And just, you know, had a couple adult beverages. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, had a really good time. It was nice. How did you celebrate Canada Day? Looks like the cake is lopsided. I think it looks pretty level. Uh, it's leaning like this. It's alright. It's all part of cake decorating. Just gotta fix it. Fireworks and Lindsay. Fireworks and Lindsay, yes! So, because people said that it's leaning, <laughs> I can't see the it's leaning, maybe this way. I'm going to put a little bit of buttercream on the top there to kind of even it out. To make it look a little bit more level. Mark, you need a tripod for your phone. This is ridiculous. <laughs> well, hold the camera straight. That's why I'm saying you need a... Never mind. Yeah, I know. I'm just bringing in that excess buttercream at the top into the center of the cake. With, of course, my hot water and spatula. That's not bad. Okay. Next, I'm going to take some of these graham crackers, or wafer crackers. Also purchased at the dollar store. Take these apart. I really love the dollar store. You can find anything there. <laughs> you really can. I apologize if I'm sweating. It's really hot in my kitchen, and especially because I have these like lights set up to make me look glamorous. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I think that looks great. Put my bowl away. Sorry, y'all. Just jabbing off my forehead. All right, then we are going to put some more marshmallows all on the top of this guy. This would be perfect if you have a barbecue to go to, a family function, and you know, that paycheck didn't hit that bank account when you expected it to, right? You know what I'm saying? I am gonna light my torch again. And just kind of roast these up a little bit here. I got me some s'mores pop tarts, also from the dollar store. When I found out dollar store was selling pop tarts, I was happy to let a pig and shit. Let me tell ya. 
But they are certainly cheap on the frosting. Jeez. Is that the dollar store's fault? Right? All right. So you're gonna find your front of the cake, that, like I always say. I'm just gonna stick these guys right in there. Yes. So that's kind of like your background right here. This guy I'll save for later. Yeah. Save him for later. And I have some chocolate sauce here. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of that along my pop tarts. Yes, and if you want, you can just do a nice little drip along the sides. Look at that. And on the back. Don't forget about the back of your cake. It gets lonely, you know? And there you have it. One awesome dollar store s'mores cake. This actually turned out quite well. I'm so happy with it. And I think anybody would love it. Any party you go to, any event you go to. Again, if you're on a budget and you need to save some money but have a fabulous looking cake, this is the way to do it. So other than spending money on your actual cake, uh, I think I spent like $3, $4 on all this stuff. So that is a yes. We'll throw this guy here. Is anybody watching? You had nine people watching. Nine people, hi nine people. If anybody has any questions, like feel free. I'm just over here cake decorating. All right. So the next cake I wanna do is a cookie dough cake. So I baked off two seven inch round white cakes. Just kind of level these guys off. Because it's yum. Right? Sorry. And then A or something, right? Amaya. Amaya, yeah, that's right. And then, look at that, that's nice and level. Perfect. So. I'm going to cut one of these layers in half. Ooh. Kind of like it's a traditional birthday cake. And for the cookie dough, I'm going to take a bowl, and I'm going to take some of that Betty Crocker whipped icing. This one's vanilla. Kelly Davis says I love your work. Kelly Davis, you know what? I love you for loving me. <laughs> well, this is a bitch to open. Okay, just cut her open. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to take a whole can of the white whipped uh, buttercream from Miss Betty Crocker. She does good work, doesn't she? when you're in a jam. Get it all in there, don't waste it all. And I'm gonna take the remainder of my chocolate that I used for the s'mores cake. And I'm gonna mix it all together. That way you have that vanilla flavor and you have that chocolate flavor. And when combined, it actually does give you a really cool kind of cookie dough flavor. So, just mix that all up. Yes. So you have this kind of like really light brown cookie dough icing. And just a light Smear of it on your two layers. Just a light smear. I'm going to take some chocolate chips that, of course, I bought at the dollar store. Chocolate chip cookies, sorry. Oh, look at them, they're so cute! 
Oh, they're baby ones. Are they good? They're good. A little stale. <laughs> I mean, it's the dollar store. I'm gonna hold a couple in my hand, and I'm just going to break them up. Someone missed what you mixed in the bowl. So it was just chocolate Betty Crocker whipped icing and vanilla Betty Crocker white icing. And I just mix the two together and it gives you a really nice light flavor. It does actually taste like cookie dough. So you do vanilla and chocolate. Yeah, just vanilla and chocolate mixed together. If you want it to look a little more like cookie dough, you can do two cans of the vanilla and one chocolate. That way it's a little lighter. <clears throat> All right. Oh, actually, wanted to put a little chocolate syrup in between. Yes, look at that. Can you see that, babe? See what? Can you see the layers? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of ch there's lots of cookie on there. Cause it's cookie dough. Get it? Lame. So now just putting my cake on my cake board and my spinner. Using my hot spatulia. Taking some of that awesome icing that we just mixed together. Starting at the top, just spreading it out. I don't know why cake decorators are so against like Betty Crocker pre-made cakes or the icing because honestly like it's good and when you're in a pinch and you need to get like a product out it's not bad at all to use it really isn't so don't feel bad y'all I mean yes of course it would be nice to make your own fresh buttercream and all that stuff but sometimes life gets in the way and you don't have time you know where are these cakes going after you're done? <laughs> they going down my mouth and into my belly. That's where they're going. <laughs> Who asked that? Uh, I forget. I think it was Eric. Eric, yeah. They are, you know what? I'll probably eat that s'mores, s'mores one because it looks amazing. Trust me, if y'all were close to me, I'd invite y'all over and have a cake party, okay? Just dipping my spatula into my hot water and really kind of smoothing out this icing as best as I can. And for this top, I'm not going to make it perfectly smooth. I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to make, starting from the outside to the inside, sorry, starting from the outside to the inside middle, I'm going to make little C's. So it gives you a little tiny pattern on top. So it's not just that boring old plain flat top. Yes. Move my bowl over. All right. Now I need another bowl and some of my cookies. And again, we're going to crush up some of these cookies. This might take a while, if anybody has any questions. <laughs> Come on, crush them up. You know what? They're not stale. I think they're just like overbaked. Yeah, from the dollar store. But you guys, so if there's anybody from the States watching right now, you guys don't have Dollarama, do you? You just have kind of, you have Dollar Tree. I think that's what your store is. Here in Canada, we have Dollar Tree and Dollarama. Let's 
So I'm just taking some of those crushed cookies, and again, I'm gonna put them around the side. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, yeah. Dollar Tree is amazing. You literally don't even have to go to the grocery store. You can just shop at the dollar store. Soon they'll be selling haircuts. Right? Because you can buy clothes there. At Dollar Tree? You can buy some clothes there, yeah. I buy my flip-flops there. Alright, so taking some of these cookies. Dollar General, too, in Virginia. Dollar General. That sounds interesting. So I'm just putting some of these cookies on the top. Look at that. I love it. I'm going to take some of the leftover cookie crumbs, throw that in the middle. Yes. Eric says, hell no to Dollar Tree haircuts. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. I don't know if I would risk my haircut <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. But I'm just saying, I guarantee you it's coming soon because they sell everything. They do everything. And just putting a little bit of chocolate sauce all on the top. And there you go. You have yourself one cookie dough cake. Isn't it beautiful? All right, next up, now I need to wash my hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> so guys, while I'm having a little break here, in the next couple months, I have some really fun, exciting news just to keep you all on your tippy toes. Can't say anything right now, but I definitely will, and I can't wait for y'all to hear what this news is. All right, last cake. You're pregnant. I am. James and I have been trying. And We're with child. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> All right, this last cake is two seven inch round chocolate cakes. I'm just going to level these out. <clears throat> you can smell that icing. It's, it's actually really, really good icing. Yeah. It really is. Just make sure these guys are level. Yes, they are. So for this one, I'm not going to cut this middle one in two just because I'm scared because it's a little, it's not as um, frozen as I'd like it to be. I really love working with frozen cake. It just makes the whole cake decorating process so much easier. So after you're done baking your cakes, stick them in the freezer. Seriously, it is Amazing. Don't decorate your cakes when they are thawed. Trust me. Debbie wanted a hint. Oh my god, I can't even give you a hint, Debbie. I can't. Like, I legit cannot even give you a hint. But I can tell you, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. So, I have, I'm sorry, Debbie, I love you. So, I have some Betty Crocker white whipped icing. Just giving that a smear in the middle of this chocolate cake. I don't know if James can see. There we go. And I'm going to take some Smarties. Actually, no, I'm not going to take Smarties. I wanted to use some of this dollar store vanilla pudding. Why not? I think it will make an amazing filling. And look at these cakes. Mm -mm. Right? Like for the dollar store? Not bad at all. Okay. okay. So I'm just taking my snack pack here. Just gonna put a little bit of it on the cake. Yes. Oh my god, snack packs. Love it. Now I'm going to take some Smarties. And just sprinkle them on the middle. This is going to be our candy cake. We have a s'mores cake, we have a 
cookie dough, and this is gonna be candy. You can call it candy surprise. Too much? Yep. Whatever. I'm too much, so. <laughs> All right. They know already. Yes, they do. Just taking a little bit of my frosting. I should have decorated this with the chocolate frosting because it's chocolate cake instead of white. But we'll see how this goes. It's an experiment. I don't want to get crumbs in it. But we will see. Oh, my foot's asleep. There's the crumbs. Here comes the crumbs. Oh yeah, look at that. So chocolate cake and white icing for Betty Crocker. Don't mix. Lesson learned. But I'm trying. I will try for y'all. Oh, you zoom in on that, eh? You zoom in on my mistake, but you don't zoom in on the other cake thing. They need to know what's going on. Listen. There are no mistakes on Epic Confections show, okay? There are no mistakes on the show. There's only lessons learned. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. That's what it's all about. We're here to learn and have fun and make mistakes. Because if you don't make mistakes, you're never going to learn, right? You're welcome. Wise words from Mark. <laughs> Today. Hello, boo. I'm glad I didn't miss you guys. Rebecca. Rebecca! As soon as she said boo, I knew it was Rebecca. I love her. She is good times and very supportive. You all are so supportive. I love you so much. Um, also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, add me to Instagram at Epic Confections. All right, so just smoothing out this white icing. It's actually not that bad. There's not, there's not a lot of crumbs in it. And just taking in the excess buttercream from the top and smoothing it out as best as I can. And again, I'm going to make those little circles just to kind of give it a little bit of fun texture on the top. And just clean up my cake board a little bit because I know it's killing y'all because y'all are OCD. Just taking some paper towel to dab off my... No, that dirty countertop is bugging me. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll clean it up. All right. So... Nights? I have, here? I have some nerds. I have fun dips. Do you guys remember fun dips? Love fun dips. And ring pops. Because I'm a queen and I deserve diamonds. All right, so I just have some sprinkles here. These I did not get at the dollar store. You can get sprinkles at the dollar store. The only ones they had were chocolate ones. And I didn't want to use chocolate. So just taking my cake, holding it over the sprinkles, and just placing those sprinkles all the way around the cake. If you're not happy, with your icing job, put sprinkles all the way around the cake. That way you hide any crumbs that were caught in, in, in the icing. The crumbs make the, the icing look like cookies and cream. That's true, but this is not a cookies and cream thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. You can do, you can cover all of your mistakes up. In cake decorating, you can always cover up your mistakes. That's why I love my job. <laughs> All right. Just gonna try to find the front of my cake, which I think is probably right here. All right. Let's get some of these. What are you doing with the fun dip? I think. Well, I think I'm just gonna put it on the cake because this is gonna be a fun kind of cake that you can grab at and pull stuff off of. Again, using my teeth when I have scissors. Yes! Do I get a ring pop? Of course you 
course, you can have your own pop. I get that one? Thank you. I'm decorating this. Does anybody have questions? No? Nobody has a question for me? I'm so offended. Mm. Wanted to get a little dowel. I apologize. So I'm just taking a little dowel, two of them here. And just bring at the back of the cake and stick those guys in. And I'm going to place my fun dip right on there so it, so it holds up that fun dip, kind of like a backdrop. I'm going to put a ring pop on there as well. And an open ring pop. Right here. Yes. So for the nerds, I kind of wanted to do like a really fun anti-defying or yeah, defying gravity cake. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to try it. Why not? I'm going to get a little bowl. You say anti-defying gravity cake? Anti-gravity cake. Hey, Wouldn't gravity, that just be gravity? It's gravity-defying cake, yes. <laughs> You're right. So, there should be a little lever. Yes, there is. And I'm just going to pour these nerds out. Can you see that? Into the bowl. Okay. So, I have a dowel here, and I cut it, and I cut it on an angle. I think a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna squeeze it and stick it in, stick it in there, like that. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna cut, yes. So I just cut a seam down that dowel, just like that. So it has something to hold on to. Carissa says she loves you. Who said that? Carista. Carista! You know what? I love you. You. I love you. He says that to everyone. But I do love everyone! Okay, so Just now saying. that my... What was that? Just saying. Oh, now that my dowel is in here, I'm going to take my white icing again. This is going to get messy. <clears throat> But you're gonna put a little bit of icing on that dowel, all the way around it. You could do this on the cake, it's just that my dowel is not really holding up my box as well as I'd like it to. And I don't wanna get everything dirty. I think I better take the ring pop out of my mouth because I think everyone's noticing. <laughs> Probably. Ooh, Mark's getting sassy. When aren't I sassy? That's why you married me. Well. Because I'm sassy. Okay. Leave the pig. So now, I'm going to take that dowel, and I'm going to cover it in nerds. I'm going to squeeze those on there with my hand. Try to make sure that they're all, or that dowel is all covered up with the nerds as best as you can. Yeah. 
So the nerd, yes. So I'm just gonna stick him in there like this. And you can adjust it any which way you'd like. Until you're happy. I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna throw some nerds all the way around. And you can make that as tall as you want. I didn't want to go too tall because I wasn't too sure how my dowel would hold up. So I think that looks pretty good. Here you have it, three easy dollar store decorating cakes. So again, if y'all are on a budget, if you're in a pinch, you need to get something out to a family, a friend, a birthday, and you need to do it quick and easy, run to the dollar store, grab some supplies, and put yourself together a fabulous cake. Again, here we have a s'mores cake. Here we have a cookie dough cake, and here we have a gravity-defined candy cake. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I love you all so much. Thank you to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video. I will link their website in the description below. And if anybody doesn't have any questions, I'm going to sign off and dig into some of these cakes. So, <laughs> does anybody have any questions? How many people are watching? Allahu. Eleven? Hi, eleven folks. I'll give it a second here. That s'mores cake looks really good. No? All right. Well, I love you guys so much, and thanks again for everything. Thank you so much for the constant love and support. I love y'all, and I will see all of you next week. Mwah!